is a lesson for time by Pink Floyd for school. Um, this is kind of reduction of the guitar part, kind of a simple, simplified version. Um, the first thing to know is the chords. It's F sharp minor to A major. And it does the thing where your pinky moves up a fret <clears throat> to the third fret to do A sus. And then it goes down to E major and back to F sharp minor. So if you just practice that a few times, F sharp minor, A major, E major, back to F sharp minor. That's kind of the gist of the rhythm guitar part. So again, you have uh, one, two, three, four. First E riff is just one, two, three, four. Fourth fret to open A. So you have and that goes pinky. And palm you can go. again. And all these are real percussive. So you have one, two, three, four. repeats that. And then the bridge is um, D major 7, which you should know this one from class, just regular A string D major 7. Then you go to A major 7. Um, and you can do it like this if you want. So this is 5th fret, and then the pinky on the 7th fret. And then middle and ray on the next two strings, uh, sixth fret, and then bar. Or you can just play it like this if you want. So pinky bars. Start with that. Um, then it does the next section, which is D major 7. Again, you should know all these from class. D major 7 to C minor 7 to B minor 7. And then do a... So it's a whole step bend to E major. And back to... This is the last chunk of the tune where it slows down. Um, the two main chords are E minor add nine and A major. E minor add nine is like your E minor chord. You're adding the ninth, which is the second note of the scale. So um, this F sharp here, you play it here. You can do it like this, E minor nine, add nine. 
Um, the way it's voiced in the actual chord, though, like this, the octave of that F sharp. So open, second, so E, B, F sharp. That little pretty chord in the A major. And it kind of just goes back and forth between those. So here's a little first chunk of the part. You're going to need to look at the Guitar Pro to get this right. Um, so I'm going to do a kind of a quick version. So you had one, two, three, four, one. That goes one, two, three, four. And what this shape is, is like an A major chord. Like this chord. And it kind of just decorates it. Back to. Now the first time through it does the the second time you have Fourteen, fourteen, twelve, twelve, eleven, ten, and again, look at the guitar pro. You'll get that. Uh, so that's the intro. That's the only part I'm really concerned about. You having played exactly the way it goes. So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, two, three. Just kind of a mishmash of that. Right. Here's the last chunk of the song, the outro, C major seven, which is just an A string major seven chord on the third fret, to B minor seven. To F major seven, which is a little weird. So it'd go three, two, one, O. Oh. To G major. And that's the Hendrix chord on D. And then almost the same chord as if your pinky moves from the uh, sixth fret down. So you have that with the flat nine, whatever that is, the B minor. Those chords from close up. C major seven, B minor seven, F major seven, which is three, two, one, zero. That's an open E string. G major bar chord, D sharp nine Hendrix chord. This altered D seven chord, which is five, four, five, four. And half diminished chord to B minor. So the tricky part is the D7 Hendrix. Um, and you morph that to the 5454, which is the D7 um, half diminished to B minor. When I say Hendrix, it's that chord. Just take it down on D. Hopefully everybody you can see that in the screen now.